Guys, what is going on? Brian back with another live stream. How is everybody doing today? So, um, yeah, guys, we're back. We're going to be jumping in playing some more uh, State of Decay 1. Now, uh, the thing I'm worried about is the uh, this game, your community continues to do stuff when you're offline. So you can, like, come back and, like, people will be missing and... They use supplies and stuff like that. So it's been a bit, so I don't know how like how extensive that is. But uh we will be jumping in and finding out. But let me make this full screen again. I have to That's the reason why I started off like this, guys, instead of my normal background, because this game is a little wonky when it comes to uh the settings and shit. But how is everybody doing today? I appreciate you all for coming and hanging out. Alright, there we go. So it should be full screen. Yep. All right, let's continue. JP6, Dave's Ghost. We got Z in the house. Chill Nation. Tatic, what's going on? Alex, Disciple. Aspie, of course. Nine Millie. Eric, how are you guys doing? I always wanted to say that. Okay, but the other good thing is uh, construction also happened while I was offline, which is cool. Okay, so we still... Oh, my God. We got 111 food so my outposts were just generating food as i was when i was offline okay well guys we have enough food to feed an army that's a little op all these snacks and stuff were crafted and created i'll take it while we were offline uh some bullets were broken down look my community was putting in work guys okay so that mission right there i believe jacob wants oh also, we have a bunch of people who died. Neighbors and shit. Peyton died. Isabella died. We got neighbors missing. Neighbors dead. Oh, man. Okay. Um, let's see here. So we still have these neighbors here. They're still alive. Uh, Zed Hunt for Armored Zombie. Eyes in the Sky. Sam Hoffman. See what Sam's been up to. Let's go Let's go see what Sam's been up to. Nope. I got to do the uh, thing for the graphics. Okay. Hold on one sec. So you turn the... All right, guys, we should we should be good. We should be good. Um, yeah, I, I'm telling you now, guys. I hate Windows 11. Um, all of the issues that I've had so far from moving to my new PC is Windows 11. It just does not jive with Streamlabs OBS right now. There's just something wrong with Streamlabs and uh, and and uh, Windows 11. I fucking hate the program, guys. Do not upgrade to Windows 11 if you can. Uh, I, if you can avoid it um I, on my other pc i have not upgraded to windows 11 for this specific reason um i didn't upgrade to windows 10 for like years i i waited years until that shit was um how do you downgrade it stetso is there a way to fucking downgrade it dude because the pc that i bought came with windows 11 um and i i hate it i absolutely hate it um it's it just oh but if you're saying i could downgrade it i'll look that up later on uh because man it's it's terrible it's freaking absolute garbage all right <clears throat> the wife said it might be our internet too that's acting up um all right hold on a sec Sorry for the you guys. They had this it's part of part of live stream. It's the difference between live streaming and video making on YouTube. Is you can uh, you can edit out all the the BS that you deal with. I can't. <laughs> I cannot. All right, let me see.
All right, so everything's running good right now, right, guys? You guys can see, hear me. Everything's perfect, right? And Lucifer, how you doing, man? All right, so every, everything's good, right? No issues. I'm moving. Everything looks and feels. It's smooth. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the game, and I'm going to see if the game breaks it. Yo, maybe I'll just won't put it full screen. Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me let, let me not put it full screen. There will be this annoying ass white bar on the top of the screen, but I wanna see if the lag goes away. So everything's running good right now. It seems to be smoother, right? Is it nice and crispy looking? It's working good, right? Okay. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to try to break it again. <laughs> All right. Even even though we don't have to, now we got to now we got to try to break it again. All right. So now I'm going to turn full screen off and then we're going to turn full screen. All right. There we go, guys. So that is uh, that is part of game testing. Uh, we found out what the issue is. So we're just gonna—you guys are gonna have to deal with this little white bar on top of the screen. It is what it is. Um, I'm gonna try to make it as small as I can, but we just can't play the game in full screen. Um, for some reason, every single time I switch from this to full screen, it just boom drops my OBS. So. I don't know why. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, there's just going to be a little tiny white strip at the very, very top of the screen. Let me see here. I can honestly probably get most of it gone. Is most of it gone? Most of it's gone. There we go. All right. Now there's a little black bar on the bottom of the screen, but that's all good. You guys are all right, right? Black bar is better than white. There it is. Looks good. All right, so now let's play the damn game. After we uh, figured that snafu out. Hey, do you... Do you think you could do me a favor while you're out there? I'm on it. It's... No, never mind, it's stupid. You lost me. I've been packing up my dad's stuff, and I found a watch box. It's from the birthday present I got him when I was 12. This stupid little plastic thing with a cartoon fish on it. I don't know why he kept it, but it kind of made me realize I don't have anything to remember him by. So, I was going to ask if you'd go up to where he died and bring me something of his. Better deal with this first. <laughs> Lily, see, Where were we? with the super no, chat. Forget it. It's stupid. It's Just way too um, risky. tons of mats I'm due to that. How long enough. before those start to decay? Um, you get a little bit, about an hour, Zizaram. Hour, I think it's an hour or two hours before you uh, start getting your materials decay. There's some trouble we might want to look into. I don't know why. Yep, that's my pickup truck. Okay, cool. I was like, yo, what vehicle did I have parked over here? Okay, so we're going to see what Sam Hoffman wants to do down here. Sam. 
Sam, what are you doing out here? Looking for Andy Pims. Andy Pims? Fuck, you're persistent. Andy's the guy who used to come into Pastor Will's soup kitchen all the time. Haven't seen him since this bullshit went down. Okay. What? I'll help you look. Hey, if that floats your boat, I'm not turning down free help. Old bastard's probably dead by now. But apparently I'm a sucker for winos with no teeth and bad gout. Because here I am looking for him. I got a few ideas where to look. Come on. Over, German. What's up, brother? All right, let's How'd do it. How'd you end up working in a soup kitchen? The fuck's that supposed to mean? I volunteered. What, you think I wouldn't help my fellow man unless it was court-ordered? I've been helping Pastor Will with charity shit for years. Sorry. I shouldn't have assumed. God damn right. All right, let's check over here in the S&B. Hello? Break its fucking skull! Oh, shit. I pushed it over the thing. Is it me or does this game have like more like cool like wicked animations like that? Like you can't do that in SOD2, can you? Like push a zombie over a counter? I know it's not a big deal, but it's still something. It's still cool. Grab it. Time to move on. All right. No Andy Pims. Abre with the super chat. Thank you so much. Got some fuel in here. This whole place was locked up, man. Okay, no Andy. Consider this one searched. One more house. Zed's up ahead. <sighs> hey, are you in there? Zombies coming up behind us. Well, deal with it. Sorry. Yeah, well, about what I expected. Even money, whether the Zeds got him or the booze did. Let's take care of him and go the fuck home. Rest in peace, you gross old bastard. There it is, guys. R.I.P. Andy Pimps. Better look around some more. Uh, alright, so I gotta get my outpost activated. Actually, now that I'm sitting here, we'll get these activated so our traps are good. Um, got eyes in the sky, take out some hordes with that. Besieged. Ooh, I do have my neighbors here who are gonna have an attack soon, so we'll go help them out really quick. Okay, nice. Got a high power. Nice. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. Roger that. We'll be waiting. 
So I know a lot of people were talking about, you know, the missions in SOD1, like, oh my god, there's so many missions, the game is very, very overwhelming. You don't have, it's just, it's just like SOD2, you don't have to do them. <clears throat> um, I thought I saw hallucinating, guys. I thought I saw Juggernaut standing there. Um, but yeah, you don't have to do them, just like SOT2, uh, and it's not like it's going to hurt anything, you know what I mean? In position. Eyes up high. We need you to do a little survey. Yeah, let's get this mission done really quick for the army again. This will help get some hordes out of the area. I Lady X, I'm food. doing good. I'm doing good. I'm excited to be back playing some more SOD1. I had a blast last episode, so... Like I said, I had I had no intention on honestly making this a series. I was, I was kind of just showing the game off. Uh, but you guys showed so much love. We had over 1.2k likes. You see a horde? Sing out. Target's good. Here we go. Duck and cover, folks. Artillery, baby. And we're done here. Enjoy your new smoking crater. Uh, but yeah, we had over 1.2k likes on the stream, so that obviously warranted a episode two. Oh, uh, the boys! Hey, all the kids are actually getting a little bit better. Uh, you know, they were they were pretty sick the other day, and then uh, yeah, they're they're getting better. All right, so it's, I definitely do want to. Oh, oh, the besiege is gone, I guess. Belongings, Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning, guys. It really isn't Peyton Manning. It was like Maginnings or something like that, but it's Peyton Manning, guys. He didn't make it. Um, am I playing? No, we're not playing Wildlands today. We just played it last night. I'll be playing it here in a, you know another day or two. I generally, uh, I have like a rotation of games that I rotate through. Melee combat's pretty damn good in this game, I gotta admit it. So this is one of our neighbors who didn't make it, so I'll run this home. Any of his belongings that were on him, we can we can take. I don't know if we can drop this off at an outpost. I'm about to Okay, armored zombie. I was like, yo, I seen the thick red. <laughs> Tip you like a hundred if you play Splinter Cell. Nah, Luce, you don't gotta tip me anything, man. Uh we are gonna be playing some Splinter Cell though. I, I bought um I got Blacklist. Uh that's one of the ones we're gonna be playing. I don't know. I I, I was trying to think like Damn, am my outpost locked? Whether I wanted to, you know, go back and play like some OG Splinter Cell games. I I, I didn't know how I want to go about it, but uh that's something we'll be looking at later on in the future. So I gotta bring this back to base, these belongings. Oh. That was a good drop kick right there. But depending on, you know... Depending on how much love you guys keep showing this series here, will dictate whether we jump in and check out, um... Lifeline. If you guys want to see the DLC for State of K1, it was pretty, it was a pretty cool uh, DLC. All right, so we're gonna just drive all this shit back to base. Got a horde coming up, but that should get intercepted by the outpost trap. 
And I was thinking about... Where did I do that? Oh, yeah, I did that outpost down here. I remember now. Okay. Yeah, it's nighttime, so I think we'll just take some time and loot up this area and just try to get the rest of these houses cleaned up. Alex with the two months, thank you so much. Yeah, we're playing... The, uh, I'm not playing the beta for the new Modern Warfare because it's only online, and I don't really care for uh, Call of Duty multiplayer. Uh, I mainly only play Call of Duty for the story mode, but I will be playing the story when Modern Warfare 2 drops. But yeah, I'm not... I didn't plan on checking out the beta. Lots of Zeds right behind me. Found this while I was out. Sweet. Yeah, I don't think the... Oh, the, the personal belongings did get dropped in. Okay. Well, let me go grab some meds before we head back out. Oh, I still have that mission to look for zombie hordes. I'm going to switch out this sword for a different one. Yep, right here. Mahali, hey, thank you so much for this, the membership. Welcome to the family. I appreciate it. But Alex, yeah, the fam is doing good. The fam is definitely doing good. Okay, right, let me go finish off this quest, and then we'll start looting. I'm going to leave the truck right here in the, uh, the intersection. Quite a few buildings right here we can hit. Monet, how you doing today? Have you moved any of your forever communities yet? Um, I have not. No, my forever community, I'm not moving. Um, <laughs> but no, I, it, there might be some bugs behind it because I haven't seen. I, I my, mine's staying in place. I actually just got to work on the map and get it cleaned out. But what's the bug? That's not a normal zombie. Infestation? Ooh, shit. Okay. Spotted a weird one. Spotted a weird one. Juggernaut. Got a horde on the move. Package inbound on your paws. I say again, on your paws. Done and done. Tell Eric he owes us. That was Brant Fitzgerald's voice, guys. Another horde. That, that's a lot of zombies. Package inbound on your paws. I say again, on your paws. <laughs> if anything survived that, you got bigger problems. Uh, th they did survive it, dude. What do you mean? All right, let's see if we can take... Uh, I don't know if I can hit that shot from up here. Alex, I really appreciate that. Holy shit, thank you so much for that super chat and the kind words, man. I really... That means a lot to me, dude. I think I caught something. It's that Cleo person again, but a lot fainter. Oh, listen. This is Cleo. Order derived. Rusio Angels 40, 10 mics. Posit 1 1 Tango Mike Papa 2 5 Delta 0 5 Papa. I keep hearing it every few minutes. The way you interact with your community is what makes you the goat, bro. Don't ever change my guy. I'll tell you Alex, I really zero. appreciate that. That means Unless so much. Seriously, thank you. 
Got one more screamer we gotta deal with. Just gonna try to pop that screamer and be done with it. I I, I should have grabbed some fire actually. It probably made this infestation a little easier, right? It's just the one we're still cool. Swanee, brother! I think he was pretty clear on what he meant. You have bigger problems. Yeah, for oh. sure, dude. We now have bigger problems. <laughs> Funny with the super chat, brother. How you doing today, man? I want that screamer out here so we can... Upstairs. You know, it wouldn't be a bad idea to teach some of your skills to other folks. Good idea if you train some of the rest of us. And we got a horde coming. Great. This gun is suppressed, so it shouldn't make too much noise. We just gotta make sure that screamer doesn't scream. Swanee, dude, that is too much, brother. With the elite survive, no way, dude. Honey, dude, seriously, brother, that is that is so much, man. Let's get some hearts in the chat. Swan's out here just showing mega love. Andrew with the super chat started watching your videos yesterday. I'm like, hey, I appreciate that. I'm glad you're enjoying them. Oh, Katzine, you don't have to worry about that. You already do so much. All right, so we're going to skip out on that. We'll, we'll, we'll continue our, our plan of looting. Uh, what is it? Uh, so an elite survivor is uh, the highest level membership um that i have on my channel oh there it goes there's that horde so um Attention survivors only those who abide by the laws posted outside the courthouse are eligible for the protection of the sheriff's department if you want to keep your guns and keep your own scavenge you're on your own. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's the highest level of membership I have. When uh, I went to make my channel membership, um, YouTube has like recommended levels. They'll be like, oh, do this level, this level, this level, this level. Like that's what's like recommended. And one of them, they called it the super fan. 
That that's what they called it. Um, and I was like, yeah, I'm not not ever gonna use that. Um, and so I I, I I grabbed that. I changed the name of it to Elite Survivor, and uh, to kind of go with the theme of what we had. But it, sounds like there's some commotion out there. I never thought yeah, that anybody would Sam. actually. It sounds like they're in a bad spot. I want to offer them a do hand. it. You know what I mean? Your map should have the location. Um, so that's why it, it still blows my mind to this day. You know that people are willing to show that much. That's like crazy levels of support. D Mullen with the membership. Welcome, welcome. How you doing today? Okay, so that horde might get caught up in the. Yeah, it should refresh by in time. So we'll see. Well, let's loot out this place right here. So it says there's food in here. Which obviously we, you guys know, we don't we don't need any more food, man. Nice. We'll take the meds and shit, though. I don't have enough space for this. There it goes, boom. Yo, that's why out we need outpost traps in State of K two, man. I've, I've tried RimWorld one time. I played it for about 30 minutes. I made it through the tutorial, and then um, I sent one of my people out to hunt, and they got killed by a bear. And I turned the game off because that shit was so hard. Yeah, don't send your people to hunt a bear with a pistol in RimWorld. They will die. But it was a very, very hardcore game, um, and I definitely needed help. Fuck, oh, dude, these zombies are not. Got no chill. Pop a snack here. Another little revolver. I've actually been taking a since I've been playing this game, I've been taking a lot of damage. I notice I'm like super bad at avoiding damage. I think the zombies can see your flashlight in State of Decay 1, isn't that true? Okay, so that enclave's besieged again. SpongeBob, what's up, brother? How you been, man? It's good to see you, dude. Okay, the downstairs is looted. Yeah, this is where the bags of food were. I'm bringing this stuff home. I gotta make sure that we're we'll doing this because, uh, you know what? Yeah. Look a big meal. Gotta use all this food up for something, right? All quiet here. Mm. Yeah, we still use a good amount of fuel. 
So I, we're going to be having to move here soon. But before I move, I wanted to make sure that uh, we looted this area out for the most part. Because I don't want to have to, you know, come back up here. It's like I might as well empty the area out before, before we take off. Alright, we've got a strong signal. I think it's another beacon. It's saying 1-1 one, one, Tango Mike Papa 2-5 Delta. Are these coordinates? I don't know what they mean. Keep your eyes open. Do I think SOD1 has more variety of items in State of K2? Um... I would say they're probably pretty... Pretty the same. Like... Oh, it does feel like SOD1 has a bigger variety. But... I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you one way or another. I don't have a lot of experience with this game. All quiet here. Just making a bunch of safe zones here. See my nice big pocket of safe. Uh, we'll drop this stuff off. We'll head over here. I do have this. Uh, we'll, no, we'll, we'll loot this one more house and then we'll go over to the besieged. <laughs> and guys, I want to thank you. Already almost 200 likes on a stream. That's crazy. Like I said, if you do want to see more of this, um, because yeah, I, I, I didn't intend on it being a, a, a series, but you guys had other ideas uh let me know by smashing that like button it's the best and easiest way to let me know that you guys are enjoying it and interested like i said last episode man you guys really killed that like button freaking 1200 likes swanee donated ten dollars i was surprised at my parents divorce after years of them describing their marriage as just like christmas then I found out they meant it's because they only come once a year. <laughs> that was a good one, Swanny. <laughs> My parents never talked about their ma their marriage at all. Thank God. Hey, D, that's not bad. You lasted three to four days. That's, hey, man, that, that's pretty good. Nice. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. I always oh, tell people, right. you know, even if you if you only last um, three to four days, right, on, on Lethal Zone, then that means the next time you play, hey, just try to last another three to four more days, and then three to four more days, and you just keep building from there, you know what I mean? Keep getting better and better. Got a horde, you know, man, there's a lot of hordes in SOD1. Feels so good. I hope they bring that back in SOD3, just, just hordes of zombies, you know? I'm already loaded down. Oh, shit, I was supposed to... Where did we find those? Wasn't there one more bag of meds over here? I was like, dude. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff left. home. Roger that. We'll be waiting. I'm on it. Okay, so she's starting to get a little tired. So we're probably gonna want to swap her out before we go ahead. I gotta turn my flashlight off. I don't. I don't know if the zombies can actually see it. Cause in SOD two, your flashlight's irrelevant. Like the zombies can't see your flashlight. Uh, but in SOD one, I I don't know if that's the uh, still the case. What happens for being impatient?
I don't I don't have the uh with the rucksack on, I didn't want to have to melee those dudes. Let's go empty our inventory. In SOD1, can you swap your survivors at an outpost? I gotta go check. Marcus is sad, man. Marcus, you better not be sad, dude. My detective for your outline me is not working. Oh, why wasn't it working? I was just posting myself. That's so stupid. Been using it for what? Years now? And all of a sudden, like, oh, you gotta pay for this. All right, let me see. Can you swap survivors at an outpost? So Marcus is sad. We're gonna actually go out with him, bring him out, see how he feels. Okay, so I can use all of these people now. They're all friends, except these two. So we can use these three. We can use Sam also? Hell yeah. All right. Oh, wait. Did this tell you me back to base? Oh, shit. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. It's all good. We can grab Marcus while we're here anyways. So this is Sam's little shotgun. I don't know if I want to... Keep that though. We'll probably give her a handgun. This thing only holds three bullets. Even in SOD one, guys, I still don't find um I don't find shotguns to be good. Charles with the huge super chat. Thank you so much. Hadouken! I love your streams. Hey, I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's... Seems like we missed an opportunity there. Oh, please don't... Okay, not the besiege. Okay, awesome. Um... You know what? I should bring... We should bring Marcus down there with us anyways, if we're going to go do that besiege thing. Okay, her fight... Her skills are all pretty low. It's going to give her a nice durable weapon. We don't have a bigger backpack yet. So we're giving her that handgun. Um, go ahead and throw... One of these bad boys on. Which one is better? Improvised, handcrafted, 30 shots, 10 shots. Yeah, so we'll give her the 30 shot. And then I'll grab an extra stack. Let's bring Marcus out. Let's go, dude. Time for you to get unsad. So, what do you say? Oh, wait, no, no. Let's go somewhere else. No point in drawing more than here. Doesn't it look like Ru Marcus has a rucksack on his back? Okay, now we're gonna kill some zombies the old-fashioned way. Grab it! Yeah. Let me go find more. Try not to attract too much attention. What was it? Just one zombie? Okay, now we're gonna stealth over to this next location. As you guys can see. This is the best way to stealth. That was pretty far, actually.
Zach, thank you for the sub. Let's try some shooting. If you have one, attach a suppressor to muffle the sound. These things are homemade, so they don't last forever. Better get we'll be on. Watch your ammo and try to reload when it's safe. Good shot, dude. Thanks. I learned a lot. Alright, well, while we're here, I'm gonna loot this out, Marcus. Later, bro. Maybe find a bigger backpack. Zach, how you doing today, man? Throwing this huge ass backpack, maybe find a backpack. There it is. Awesome. Fucking sweet. The machete actually had some pretty good stats on it. I'm gonna hit that besiege on my way back down. Uh, I'm gonna probably top off my ammo too, because we might have to do some shooting during this. I don't I don't remember how how tough the enclave sieges are. Or what can show up to them. So just to be safe, we will we'll load up a bit. I'll bring a little bit of fire, too. Things are getting pretty hairy out there. Do what you can. Uh, how does my stream have very little delay? W uh, what do you mean, Adam? Uh, YouTube has settings on it where you can change the latency of your stream. Yeah, I mean, uh, if you're on YouTube, that was pretty crazy. there's uh, on your dashboard screen of YouTube, it gives you the option to choose your latency. Um, and you just choose low. Uh, there's low, medium, and high pretty much. And uh, I, I just have mine on like the me medium latency or normal latency. Or, I forgot, I think it's normal, low, and super low or something like that, and I have mine just on low latency. I got nothing left. So you, there's, mine's still not even in real time. I still, there's like, it's still like a six to eight second delay. Um, there is one that you can do that's instantaneous, but uh, you can't stream anything over like 1080p for the instantaneous one. All right, where these people at? Talk to me. On the porch, maybe? Or does it not matter? I just talked to any of these guys. This isn't good. Okay, so before activating this mission, I'm just gonna barricade anyways.
That way when the mission starts, we don't we're not rushing to get these windows barricaded. Hey, Carl, welcome. Yeah, I started a little early today because we got some stuff we're going to be doing later on tonight, so I won't be streaming later on tonight. <clears throat> so I figured I'd start early. Get some streamage in. Okay, so I think this whole place should be secure. Go ahead and see what they got for sale. Not a bad rifle. All right, let's do this. Yo, why is Sam tired already? Well, he did do quite a bit of melee fighting. Oh man, this is bad. I think I hope you're ready. It says there's still one Need window not barricades. barricaded. Okay, let's get started. I don't see an unbarricaded window. Zombies up ahead. Go through or go around. Is that a juggernaut? Can, uh, I wonder if fire can hurt a juggernaut in SOD1. Here they come! Well, that was good. Trouble on the right flank. Get him? I think I might have got the jug with the fire. And all maybe all those zombies on the front too. Yeah, we got him. Okay, my suppressor's down. Got some guys in the back. Hey, Sean, think for the sub, brother. Oh! <laughs> 
Yeah, you can't. This game ain't like SOD2. When you got no stamina, you're not getting away with shit. Yo, that siege was pretty intense, man. What's the good word? Good word is, man, you guys got to get some better stuff to trade. Misty, how you doing? Yeah, that was, uh, was pretty good. All right, so we got a couple more areas here I still want to hit. We'll go finish up this house. She is starting to get a little tired. I, that's the one thing I, I, I hope they do in SOD 3, is make your survivors feel... Has anybody seen Jack? He's still missing. A bit more human like they do in this game. In SOD 2, your, your, your survivors are machines. Like, literally, you can just keep continuously pumping them full of... Uh, even without, you know, stamina items, like, just machines. You just crouch down, your stamina goes right back up, super quick, boom, you're back to fighting. In this game, it takes forever for your stamina to recoup. So, you can't just sit there and just non-stop fight zombies like real life, you know what I mean? You're gonna gas out. Like, I don't know if any of you guys have ever boxed, but if you're sitting there throwing punches for, li literally, for 60 seconds, if you just go ham on a punching bag... For 60 seconds, I guarantee 99% of the people in chat are going to be, you're going to be so gassed for 60 seconds. So imagine fighting endless amount of zombies for like minutes and minutes and minutes and minutes. It's just going and going and going and going. It, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But in this game, they really do make the survivors feel human. You know what I mean? Like I, after all that bit of fighting, she's already tired. She's exhausted. She's like, dude, I'm, I'm fucking whooped. You just... We just, we just, you know, defended a siege. <laughs> Spud said, nah, I'm built different, bro. I do 61. There it is, bro. So let's go ahead and drink some coffee. We're going to keep her in the fight. Just a little bit longer. And we'll throw another suppressor on. Uh, you know what? We won't bring the extra ammo. I need some more space to loot, so we'll stash this. Yo, snacks are so good in this one, for sure. Things are starting to sound pretty urgent. I don't know how long our friends can hold out. They need to hurry. You talk about that freaking Zed hunt? That I'm I think my tape recorder was running. You're gonna want to hear this. If you're hearing this, we could use some help. Sounds like they're in a bad spot. I want to offer them a hand. We also, should have the location. we also got that mission up at the Wilkerson's we got to go deal with. Hey, Bacon King, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate that. Oh, nice. Another 9mm. We've been finding some pistols. Quite a few of them. We went from, like, not finding any... Because it seems like you find a lot of handguns in houses. Like, we went to gun stores, didn't find any handguns. But I've been hitting up these houses, and we've been finding a fair bit of handguns. Better do one more sweep. Make sure everything's clear. <laughs> We're clear. All right, so let me see. How many resources do we have in here? Just the meds and a little bit of food. Potential home site. What this last home right here?
Oh, I see. Talking about Pastor Williams. Do I gotta make him a friend or whatever so I can control him? To get his ability? Nope. Still running water, guys. Vinpo, what's up, brother? There's definitely some aspects of it that are harder than SOD2 for sure. Sit tight. I'm bringing the stuff home. We'll be ready. You know, base zombie damage is insane. I guess I lucked out. Table leg. Wonder if I could like sell this stuff to the enclave that I don't want. You know what I mean? Or do I get the same amount of influence return if I deposit it in my own locker? So there's no red talent members in this game, but in order to get them in State of K2, you have to um, do Daybreak. You get the prestige points, and then you go on the radio, and there's a call in for uh, Daybreak, and it'll say like, "What's the good one?" Um, Red Talon Operator or something like that. They're like twenty-seven fifty in order to buy one. So I wonder if it's the same return. If I put, put it in here or put it in mine. Let me go see. I'm going to go check mine. Because if, if it's the same uh, return, then we'll just dump it in our shit, you know? Yeah, the coffee's already worn off. Hey, all right, Lucifer, brother. I appreciate it, man. I hope them chores go well. So, for instance, that handgun was 55 if I gave it to them. Let me see what it is for me. Same. Okay, so it's the same. We'll just keep it for now then. Now, I should swap survivors before heading up to the Wilkerson's because I don't know what exactly we're going to have to get involved in. And I don't want to send somebody who's tired up there. So we need a little bit more materials and we can um we can upgrade this to the medical lab. Put that storage shed right there. I do have a materials outpost, but I'll have to wait on the wait for that to kick in. By friendship level, if you're allied, it's the same. Got gotcha. you. Yeah, I don't know what our level is. So our trust is almost max for that group. on meds but we need to build a library which I can't do in this space confirmed right yeah we can't do in this space we're gonna have to move to a bigger place Looks so we like can get the library on. um because yeah here we can it says require li library if we want to create stimulants and 
And then lab equipment allows for uh, manufacture of painkillers. I like that they made pain crafting, pain craft or painkiller crafting um, like a really high end thing. Because you think about it, like crafting painkillers in real life isn't something that you're going to be able to do with like a low level infirmary. But in this game, they made it like it's, it, you know, something you got to work for. Sit tight. I'm bringing the stuff home. We'll see you soon. Let's get this stuff back. So we got most of this neighborhood looted. Hmm. So, you gonna go talk to Joe Wilkerson? I am, actually. After I dump some of this stuff off here. Secure. No Zeds here. Yeah, I was hoping for some materials. I don't know if we're going to be able to get any out. Hold on. Was that the... Sweep kick, spin kick. I like the spin kick quite a bit. Wow. Okay. Not really what I thought I was gonna get out of here. I thought it was gonna be like a uh, like a like a you know material shed, but it actually seems like it was like a weapon shed of some sort. Yeah. Nice. I'm loaded up. See you back at base. We'll be ready. A little bit of extra ammo there. <laughs> a fucking zombie, dude. I'm almost home. And this while I was at. Mm, what you got? Oh, you know, stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and get this stuff out of her inventory, and then we're. Oh, we got a juggernaut sighting. Got a Zed hunt for juggernauts there. I'm good on that, man. I'm good on that. Alright, so Sam, you relax. Let's see. Marcus! Austin! Hey! With the super chat! Hey, Brian, gotta show some love to my favorite streamer. Y'all have a great day. I really appreciate that, Austin. Seriously, thank you so much. That is huge. So this is a 16 round 9 millimeter. I actually like that quite a bit. Let's go ahead and dump this rifle. We don't need that anymore. All right, let me go reorganize my inventory real quick. So we are going to use this handgun.
See, it's free for you to move things around. And, and now, if I were to try to do that in the locker, uh, it would cost influence, so. You can reorganize and store stuff out. If you don't want to deal with the whole influence thing, you can store stuff in your cars and shit. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put a suppressor on there. Grab some. And then... There we go. Just in case, you can bring some mollies with us. Ah, uh, yeah. I have my favorite streamer playing some more SOD1. A pizza on the way. Today is gonna be a real good day. Sharing the love heart. Twiggy, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. And I'm glad you're enjoying this. Pizza does sound good, doesn't it? Uh, we'll, yeah, we'll take the pickup. But I'm glad you're having a great day, Twiggy, and I hope that it keeps getting better. All right, let's see what the Wilkersons have to say. I'm picking something up. Charlie Actual, this is Charlie Six. We got a bunch of civilians heavily engaged with Zed about a half click down from our position, requesting permission to assist. Uh, negative, Charlie Six. Say again, negative. Remain on station. My ass remain on station. These people are getting their asses handed to them. Do you hear me, Charlie Actual? Charlie Actual. You'll see the army wanted to uh, actually help the civvies, and the, the higher ups were like, no. Nah, not having it. Rick, brother, what's going on? Hey, bro, I had to show some love to my favorite streamer as well. Chris <laughs> At Crystal Menard is my second favorite. There it is, dude. How you doing today, brother? Hope your day is going good, man. I hope everything's going good with the little baby. Martin, thank you for the sub. I appreciate you. So, you guys, that's the thing that a lot of people don't understand about the military. Is, uh... Especially in the American military, put it that way. A lot of decision-making is not made at the higher up level. Like... You can ask my boy Rick, you know, he's he's he spent a lot of time in the military too. Um, but a lot of the decision making isn't made up at that higher level. It's actually made at like the lowest level. You'd be surprised. You got, you know, high speed little lance corporals, corporal squad leaders, sergeants and things like that. DR on there 59 donated $10. We starting a choo choo. No, overjumper. No, no, no. Holy shit. Hold on. So, you know, if you're out on a mission or whatever, you're out doing something and you run into a situation, it's not like you're calling up a general being like, hey, sir, you know, what do you want us to do or what are we doing? It's it's that whoever's there on the ground at the time, you know what I mean? Like, realistically, that, that Sergeant Tanner or whatever, if he were to see those civilians in trouble, he would just go react, you know what I mean? And he would just do what he felt is right at that time. And then you pay for it later on. <laughs> you just make decisions. Uh, and then you, 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 you pay for it afterwards. Exactly. Commander tells you what he wants done, and then you kind of just do it, but you do it your own way. Unless they have SOPs in place, then you do it, obviously, along the line of the SOPs, but... <laughs> Yo, the Lance Corporal Mafia is the strongest, guys. All right, Joe, what do you got for us? Talk to the boys. An SOP is trade. like a. I'm busy here. Hold on one sec. Um, SOPs are your standard operating procedures. We've been hearing rumors on the CB, people out looking for supplies getting robbed, stuff like that. I see. And you're the law on this matter, are you? More like a concerned citizen. 
Well, your concern is noted, but we haven't had any problems here. We look after our own. And you wouldn't know anything about this, would you? Take a walk with me, will you? Let me see if I can't explain how things are. Funny thing about people, they don't much like to challenge their assumptions. Now, me and my brother, we done pretty well for ourselves in all this. Other folks see that, and, well, it is in the character of very few men to honor without envy a friend who has prospered. Aeschylus said that. And an envious man is a man who will spread rumors about his neighbors. Right. Because normally, gun-running moonshiners are such upstanding citizens. Because we're businessmen. It's all about seeing the long game. Rob a man, and he'll give you what he's got in his pockets. You sell him what he wants, though, what he needs, and he'll keep on coming back to give you everything he has. Did Aeschylus say that, too? Here, let's ask Mickey. Uh-oh. Mickey, our friend here is curious if we've been stealing from our fellow survivors. Seems there are rumors to that effect. <laughs> Shit. If we was, there wouldn't be anybody to spread no rumors. See? Nothing to it. Now why don't you run along, and if we hear anything, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> oh, savages. Savages, guys. Uh, but yeah, pretty much like my boy Rick said, is uh, an SOP is a uh, like each unit is different. So, for for instance, say you have uh, you know cab, you got combat assault battalion. Say you got you know two three infantry battalion. Um, those two battalions, they might one battalion might have you know they sweep the floor from left to right, but this battalion sweeps the floor from right to left. And that's pretty much what an SOP is. It's just how you how your unit goes about taking care of a certain task. And they'll have it, you know, in writing. They'll say, you know, when it comes to this situation or this task, we do it this way. And each people each unit has their own uh, standard operating procedures. Everybody does everything different. But um that's why you want to learn your SOPs and shit when you get to your new unit because, you know, the way you did things in one place might not be the same way you you do them in another. Smack. It, it did sound like the same voice actor for Mickey. But I'm pretty sure they know something about it at least. Perfect. Our friends and neighbors. What should we do? I think for now we should just tell our runners to stay extra sharp. We don't want to antagonize the Wilkerson's if we don't have to. All right. I'll let everybody know. You watch yourself out there too. Things are starting to sound pretty urgent. I don't know how long our friends can hold out. Do what you can. Okay, let me see here. So we took care of business there. Um, I don't look for danger, diversion. Yeah, we could, we could do these real quick. I'll check this out next. You the diversion requests are pretty easy. Damn, how is Marcus already tired, bro? I must have something going on in my base that's causing my peeps to get tired. Do I not have enough beds? No, I got more than enough beds. Hmm. I might want to head down to the courthouse and see what's going on. <laughs> Rick say, yo, you want to come babysit Izzy? Thanks. Yo, don't don't threaten her, bro. She'll fucking, she'd do it, dude. You can't threaten us with baby babies, man. Baby babies are shit. I'm going to grab coffee. We're going to keep Marcus up. I, I don't know why he's getting tired so fast. Like all my people, I, I don't I don't see anything that would be affecting my group like that. Oh, 
Unless it's just how much I'm maybe sprinting with them or something. Maybe I'm just sprinting with them too much. I don't know which one. Guys, which one is better? The Chev or the Kick for Powerhouse? Watching your Assassin's uh, stream. I'll have to check that out, D-Mullen. I've never even heard of that. Uh... I'm going to grab a firework. Like, generally one firecracker is usually enough for these diversion requests. So somebody who's kind of pinned down, they're like, yo, can you make some noise, man? Usually, you can, I think you can even beat the horn. Okay, get out here. Throw that over there. So, you're kind of just distracting the zombies for him. And these army guys are giving us air support so much, man. The shove is your choice? Because I haven't seen either of them, so I don't know if the shove is better than the... the I'm there. Gonna take a look around. Got a horde on the move. Okay, so this isn't the army one. This is just a regular scouting. Okay, that was it. Just to spot some new hordes in the area. I mean, we have a couple people with Powerhouse, so even if we choose one with Marcus that I don't really like all that much. Oh. Should we go check out that other Cleo drop, too? And, oh yeah, so we got the army over there. We can deal with both of those. We'll help out the army and get that Cleo drop. And guys, I want to thank you all for over 300 likes on the stream. You guys are awesome. Just got word on the radio. Sounds like Doc's in some kind of trouble. Where is he at? According to the reports, he's up at the cemetery outside Spencer's Mill. Hope he's not looking for new patients up there. Okay. Oh, there's a fucking bloater in there. Okay, let me let me pop that bloater if I can. Shit. Trying to lure all those zombies away, but I just don't want to smack into those bloaters. I love the way bloaters die in this game. It's so gruesome, dude. Good shot. 
But we're gonna turn this shit off. Got it. This Cleo revolver. <laughs> Did I kill both of them? No suppressor. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. Roger that. We'll be waiting. Damn, I'm tired. Better get untired quick, dude. I'll run this home. We'll be ready. I like these little Cleo drops in this game, though. You know, like having to clear them out and shit. They're they are pretty good. Get a nice bit of good loot. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. Roger that. We'll be waiting. Oh, nice. Uh, what, 357 lever action? Yeah, there's no, no, there's freaks. They have every freak that's in the game in this one. Um, no blood plague, Sit though. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. Roger that. Yeah, we'll blood plague. They have a different virus in State of K1. It's called uh, Black Fever. But it's more of a, like a death sentence than it is in uh, State of K2. Uh, it was like blood plague. Like if your guy, if your people catch Black Fever in State of K1, that they're just, they're just dead, right? I don't think there's anything you can do to fix it. Another supply drop? How do they know where we are? This is weird. I hope we're not stealing from someone. But I guess they know where to find us. Alright, we're gonna go empty out really quick because I have too much stuff on me. Then we'll come back down and help the army. Some of our neighbors are in trouble. If there's some trouble we might want to look into. Ray, I'm not running any mods, dude. This is just a base game. Now, the base, base version of State of the K1 um, was, uh, this is the year one survival edition, so this is just the developer's update to the game. But yeah, this isn't modded. I don't have any mods installed. Oh, find the dock? Yeah, yeah, we should find the dock. It's right up at the cemetery, actually. How's it go? How's it going? Lots of zombies right behind. There you go. Don't say I never gave you nothing. Mm, what you got? Oh, you know, stuff. There you go. Don't say I never gave you nothing. Hmm, what you got? Oh, you know, stuff. Oh, you know, stuff. 
Yo, we got so much food, it's actually kind of ridiculous. I don't have enough space for this. I mean, realistically, guys, I, I'm, I'm looking at this game, right? And I still think it looks pretty damn good for how old it is. You know what I mean? Like, this game came out in, like, 2013. It's almost 10 years old. And I still think it looks pretty damn good. Keep that on us. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Go help out the dock. So how do I activate the shove is the question. I wonder if the shove just replaces the kick. No. Same button, you just hit shift. Okay, shift E to shove. So, yeah, Doc should be right here. Uh, that's a zombie infestation thing. I'm not worried about that. So, we'll take care of Doc. That Cleo drop was the first time I think we've seen bloaters. Oh shit. Ain't too proud to ask for help. Hey, you got a little on you. Good duck. Obliged to you. Thought them things had my number for sure this time. What are you doing up here? Paying my respects. Uh, that's Magina. Right over there. I'm sorry. Uh, it was a long time ago. At least it spared her from seeing all this. Hell, she'd probably handle it better than I do. She always was the smart one in the relationship. Now, lately, I find myself coming. Hey, out we had to do what we had to regular. do, Rick. <laughs> Talking to her sets my mind at ease. Didn't figure on them things following me this time. Anyways, appreciate the help. You find your people and need a doctor, you give me a call. We had to do what we had to do. Those guys are in real trouble. An ally in trouble? I'll check this out next. You're going to burn yourself out if you don't come home and rest a little. I actually did a decent amount of damage to my pickup. I think there was another one down here, wasn't there? Yep. Grab this cleaner pickup over here. Over here. 
that Ed? Dude. Finish it off. Yo, Ed, you're a fucking idiot, dude. It's pretty much fuck shit. On the roof, of course. All right, you're safe. Let's go, let's go. I'm done here. We got Zed at nine o'clock. Get in the damn truck, Ed. Get in the truck, Ed. Get in the truck, Ed. And now we now we all understand why Ed almost died in the beginning of the game. That was ridiculous. Because it's not like SOD2, like if you if you're out of stamina, I popped a snack and it still didn't matter. I was still out of stamina. I like that. But I wasn't ready for it. So I'm sitting there like, yo, what's wrong? Where's my stamina? Where's my stamina? I should have I should have started shooting the gun. Um but now we know. Now we know. Uh, let's actually get some more coffee crafted up too. And we'll get some more suppressors done up. Oh shit, that's pretty cool. So we train outsiders and we get a uh, thing from it. I'm gonna fix this. <laughs> Alright. Marcus is tired. You know what? Screw it. We'll just swap him out. I hope we don't regret that missed opportunity. So the big three are tired. He's tired. Um, you know, Karen, we'll send you down to Marshall. How about that? She's good at beer pong. Our weapons are not so great, though, so we will get rid of both of those. Guys, I'm up to, I got, like, 890 influence. It's crazy. Uh, we'll give her one of the handguns. Meds. Snacks. Ooh. Okay, so that's the only issue, though. 
Uh, because I keep using 9mm, we're chewing through our 9mm pretty quick. Got a decent amount of 45, decent amount of 22, 40, not much 357. 44 I got a lot of too. You know what? We'll get, uh, we'll grab the 45. Oh, she needs a melee weapon, doesn't she? Now, her health is a little on the lower side. Just fine. Okay, so we're going to be heading down to Marshall. Uh, give her a hatchet. We got the strangers in trouble here, and then we also have the law. Got to meet the judge. Go check out these strangers first. Yeah, I just learned that the hard way, Vinbo, for sure. Yeah, they there's no stamina cheese in this game at all. Check this out next. Copy that. And when you're out of stamina, you can't do like 90% of like and that's the thing about State of K2 is when you're out of stamina, you can still do like everything. You can still sprint. You can still grab, you can still push, you can still swing, you can still like it, it's it's harder and slower, but you can still do things. In this game, you when you run out of stamina, pfft, you can get killed. I wish that Undead Labs would nerf stamina big time in SOD2. You'd see a huge shift, even in my playstyle, because my playstyle's su super built around, you know, just infinite amounts of stamina. I would have to definitely shoot a lot more than I do now. I don't know why I went this way. I've already brought it up, split to the devs, um, to, to nerf stamina. At least the one thing I wanted, because it wasn't like this when the game first came out, is uh, in State of K2, when you run out of stamina, right, your bar is empty, and your person, like, kneels over, and they're, like, you know, they, they're, they don't run any slower than a full sprint. Like, you're still sprinting. Uh, so go. I, I want you guys to do this. So if you're playing State of K2 next time, just start sprinting until you run out of stamina, and you will still be sprinting. Your your pace of speed you're going won't change. The only thing that changes is your player's animation. They just bend over like they can't breathe, but then they're still sprinting. And I was like, Jeffrey, at least nerf it so when you run out of stamina and your person has that bent over feeling, they move slow like they do when you get blood plague because when you get blood plague, you move slow. And um, he was like, yeah, you know, we talked about it, but the problem is if we change the bugs been in because it's a bug. He said the the bugs been in the game so long that if we change it, a lot of players are going to lose characters and the devs are going to get yelled at. And I'm sitting there like, so, <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Like it's part of the game, man. Like you can't you can't be scared of changing a bug because people are going to die. People deserve to die. It, it we're, we're we are and me included. We are exploiting. A system, and hey, make it right. And what? What the? F we're gonna guess what? You're only gonna make that mistake once. All right, we're gonna die, and then we're not gonna do that shit again. And then players are going to adjust. Players are going to adjust.
Yeah, marathon. Yeah, the whole like being able to gain st stamina by sprinting. <laughs> Shit makes no sense. Marshall ain't that bad, guys. Without the plague walls and shit, this place is chilling. There's some quite a few hordes over there, though. There's a big grocery store in, in, in this one, I think. Shit, man. I told you this was a mistake. Jack should have known better than to go off alone. You want to go home? I didn't say that. Just... You should have known better is all. Heads up. We got a visitor. Guess we bit off a little more than we could chew. Don't suppose you'd be willing to give us a hand? I can do that. We appreciate it. Last we heard from him, Jack should be somewhere in this vicinity. Now let's get looking. Didn't they Easter egg this mission in State of Decay 2? Oh shit. So the infinitely burning house uh, has a helicopter. Hey. Okay. How about you go close out? Thank you. Sona, how you doing? That was uh, like a med helo. The day before? I mean, hey, I, I don't know anything about the game. I mean, except that it got announced and then delayed and then Can anybody hear it's me? It's weird. It looks cool. Look, you know, I'm, I'll definitely play it when it comes out. Picture here. We all like Jack, but let's face it, the guy is probably dead. Hello? I got that one. <laughs> Hey, I think Jack's dead, guys. And what happens if we get ganked, huh? You think Becca's gonna send even more guys after us? Cause I don't. Anybody in here? There's Jack. Holy shit, am I glad to see you guys. You didn't think we were going to leave you out here, did you? How did you even find me anyway? <laughs> we had a little help. I, I don't know what to say. I'm not sure I would have survived out here on my own. Okay, I'll follow your lead. I got this. Don't worry. All right. Now this is Becca's crew. I forgot about these guys. Do I have any information on State of K3? No, I... I I know just as much as you guys, you know, and then the thing is, is even if I did know anything on State of K3, I'd probably be, be under NDA and wouldn't be able to talk about it anyways. Searching this garage for some gas for the generators when I heard some of those cops from the courthouse start coming up the street I mean, I don't know. Maybe they would have left me alone, but I heard those broadcasts I didn't want to take any chances So I jumped out the back window and of course What happens? I land right in the middle of a goddamn board You're kidding me. I managed to get clear, but they were right on my ass and I was low on ammo All I could do was hole up in an empty house and hope that they got bored Sounds like my kind of time, dude. That's our place. Thanks again for all the help. Hey, why don't you come inside? The least we can do is feed you. Quinn, 
Oh, thank God. If you ever do something that incredibly stupid again, I will kill you, okay? Hi, Becca. Don't you hi Becca me with your aw shuck small town charm. I can't believe you. We need to stay close to home. Jack could have died out there. I couldn't risk that. No, you just risked everything we have by leaving this place undefended. But I'm glad you're home safe. Well, you can thank our friend here for that. We'd have been in real trouble otherwise. Okay, I admit it. I'm impressed. You happy? I just saw that truck again. I think they're watching us. Any idea who they are? No, but they're none of the people we usually trade with. Hey, don't sweat it. If they try anything, I'll protect you. Dude, I can protect myself just fine. Damn, relax. He's just trying to help. Well, you can protect me too. I'm not proud. I actually am going to buy their 9 mil. Uh, we can use some. Oh, yeah, we're definitely not going to see State of the K3 next year. No, that game's a couple years out, guys, easily. Yeah, any news you hear about, like, you got to remember, the only thing we've ever heard about that game is the announcement trailer. Um, there's going to be beef up our plenty of... Um, we need more people if we're going to cover all the approaches. There's going to be plenty of streams from Undead Labs, interviews, things like that, gameplay reveals... Um, you know, them bringing content creators and IGN and all that down to the lab to play test the game and shit like that. There's going to be a lot that happens before you see State of the K3. So don't just think it's going to, yeah, just pop up one day. Uh, that's not how UL does business. But yeah, that game's years away. Um... I like the character that the inventory has in this game. Uh, I want to say I like it more than the State of K2, but oh, it's just I don't know. It's not bad. Oh, Juggernaut! Fuck. Anybody who wants to avoid court martial, stay where you are. Everybody else on me. Copy that, Sars. Let's pop some head. I got this. Don't worry. Well, at least somebody's got our six. Okay, try not to shoot us in the back, okay? Okay, well, can you guys help me fight this juggernaut? It's up. We got zombies coming in. Damn it! Back me up! Almost killed that freaking dude, man. Keep an eye out to the left. All right, this hatchet is already breaking. Exciting. I'm cool with that. All right, all right. I apologize for all the times I implied I'd shoot you in the head if you kept breaking quarantine. Tell you what, I've got some pull with the artillery pukes attached to my unit. I supply them with seized whiskey, and they rain hellfire on any hordes that happen to notice me and my boys. You get in a tight spot, give them a shout on the radio. I'll get the cannon cockers to send you a special delivery. There it is. But uh, we should get moving. That fight's going to draw more of them here soon. I'll see you around. That's a nice rifle that he has right there. I wonder if we can... I'm pretty sure if, it, if they have it, we can get it too. 
Wow, why is that candlestick so expensive? Let me see if we can find some mats while we're here. I don't want that smoke with that juggernaut, so we're just going to bail. All right, so we'll go meet up with the judge, too. Screw it. Why not? So we can get acquainted with uh, Marshall. And, uh, guys, thank you. We are almost at 400 likes. I'm glad you guys are in, uh, enjoying this. Well, maybe we get some materials right here. I'll run this home. Roger that. We'll be waiting. I'd like to see more of that. Stop by Becca's and uh, sell those me melee weapons, <laughs> or drop them in our. Uh, I gotta actually. I gotta. Out I gotta outpost down in Marshall. I forgot about. Shay, hey, thank you so much for the eleven you. months, the veteran survivor. That's absolutely insane. Do what you can. Seriously, thank you, man. Wildlands what, Caspi? Oh, I got my outpost here. That you prefer outlet uh, uh, Wildlands over what? Over this? Let's say we just played Wildlands yesterday, didn't we? But Caspi, what about this? What about... Oh, I got... But what about... Uh, so if, what, if, if it was Wildlands or Death Stranded? Caspi, Wildlands or Death Stranded? Chris John with the Super Chat, thank you so much. Uh, when am I doing the mist again? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, like I said, we stopped doing the mist because we started doing scum. And the games were so similar, just the mist or scum was, you know, more farther along, I guess you could say. Uh, but I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll keep waiting. I'm going to keep following the game and see, you know, what kind of stuff they're adding. And we'll go from there. Okay, let's go link up with the judge. No, no, no. I'm saying, like, if you could if you could only pick one, Caspi. Wildlands or Death Stranded? I think these guys actually asked me to help them clear out some infestations. I don't remember, though. Here we go. So this is the courthouse, guys. We're stretched too thin as it is. You got half my guys guarding the dispensary instead of out there pushing these things back. I understand the difficulty, Sheriff, but I don't know what you expect me to do about it. We only have so many trained officers left, and I'm not comfortable with the prospect of arming civilians for this kind of work. If you'd let me start training them, I... We'll discuss this later, Sheriff. We have a visitor. 
Welcome. I suppose you've Mayor's heard our broadcasts. so dumb. Well, it's all true. We have a safe, secure society here, governed by the rule of law. Walk with me. I'll explain. Casper, you, you like decided? Death Stranding more than I'm sorry. Ghost what Recon exactly Wildlands? The United States while I wasn't looking. Look around. We're facing a disaster of unprecedented scale. We have no way of knowing how widespread it is or how long it will take federal authorities to respond. Until they do, we have to look out for ourselves. It may not be the most constitutionally... You guys see this shit? Look at all of this story that is built into State of the K-1. This shit is crazy. Like, there is not a single mission in State of the K-2 that he has, like, even this much story time where you're walking around and you're talking and that shit is crazy. This game was so... Traditional succession, but it's all we So have. good. All we have? The army's camp just across the river. Yes, and other than vaguely threatening radio broadcasts, they've made no attempt to contact us or provide relief efforts to the civilian government. Meanwhile, ordinary citizens like yourselves are living in fear. Fear of the dead. Fear of the criminal element that sees this as an opportunity to prey on their fellow man. Fear of the uncertain future of our nation. But it doesn't have to be that way. And of course, all firearms will be surrendered. Only duly appointed law enforcement officers are allowed to go armed. Right. Well, thanks for the offer, but we're doing just fine on our own, and I'm damn sure not surrendering my guns when the streets are full of flesh-eating dead people. I'm very sorry to hear that. We'd certainly prefer it if people joined us freely, before the issue has to be forced. Is that a threat? Just a reminder that the Wild West doesn't last forever. <sighs> Fucking lady, man. Don't take it personal. She's under a lot of strain. We're penned in pretty good by these things, and like you might have heard, we're short-handed. Tell you what, help me clear some of these problem areas out, and I'll vouch for you. Put in a good word, maybe set up some kind of trade arrangement. All right, I believe they have some supplies down here that we can buy. Now, they want to clear out the stations. I don't have any fire, so let's grab some. Hey, Sonar, get that good sleep, all right? Good night. So they got a lot of bullets. Um, hmm. Actually, have, they don't have any fire. That's some hand grenades. Maybe we'll just double down on bullets. So we're just gonna we're gonna just shoot up these infestations. It's gonna be the most I've ever used a gun in a long time. Yeah, like I mean, in the hand. You gotta remember they they own the town, so they probably looted you know military, national guard type supplies. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Happy to help. Hope you're geared up. We've got a few infestations to deal with. Let's do it. And this was such a cool base, like, I would have loved to use this base in the state of K2, but it's all boarded up and shit. So this here is Marshall, guys. This is what it looked like without the plague walls and stuff. I hate to see the old girl like this. Huh? The town. Yeah. It's been on rough times for a while now, but it used to be a damn fine place to live. Raise a family. Sure. Of course, my wife didn't agree, but... Never you mind. Go on. Well, she married a machinist. Didn't like it when I became a cop instead. She finally had enough a few years back. Took our son to live in the city. Said it would be a more enriching environment for him. Sorry to hear that. Not your fault. I just hope things there aren't as bad as they are here. Danforth? <laughs> uh, you, you get to see the city in... Um... In the DLC, the Lifeline DLC, you get to go to Danforth and... Sorry, Sheriff, but the chances of your son... 
Area secure. Yeah, about time things started looking up. I'm ready. So we have no more suppressor. That's one. Lead the way. I got this. Don't worry. Yeah, I should have grabbed another suppressor, but we're gonna be we're gonna be shooting loud now. That's kind of unfortunate, especially because there is hordes moving around the town here. You think it's bad now? You should have seen Marshall in the first couple of days. Seemed like half the town was already dead or dying. And the other half was trying to cram into the courthouse for protection. Mayor Carson had got himself shot trying to cross the bridges. The city council was locked in a conference room and refused to come out. The police station was overrun. It was chaos. Oh, Judge I forgot Lump about the police station. Up, got us all organized, kept people from each other's throats. So... Mayday, mayday. Is anyone reading? We're trapped. Lots of zombies outside, and we're out of ammo. Don't know how long we can hold out. Sit tight. Help's on the way. Come on. We can deal with the rest of these infestations later. We gotta help those people first. We got Zeds at 9 o'clock. Hi, MJ. Thank you for, for the sub. I appreciate it. Keep an eye out for the left. Anybody in here? I think it's going to be next door. I heard a bunch of zombies like next door or something. <sighs> Time to move on. The building's clear. Get over and go right to the last one. Hello? God, really didn't make a whole lot of noise, didn't it? Shit. Terrible shooting. Well, the survivor survived. I what can't the? thank you enough. Thanks. We owe you big time. Don't you worry about it. We're happy to help. Yeah, I think we'll... Call it a day there. The rest of those infestations can wait a while. I appreciate the help, though.
Yeah, we came over here on foot, right? I think my truck's still down near the... The station. Or the courthouse. It wasn't too bad. I mean, we didn't use up near as much ammo as I thought I would. go talk about potentially moving now there is a you know, let's do that first if we don't help out soon it may be too late you um to hurry. we can start doing base tours i think that's what the next mission is with uh lily's brother i think you get to do a base tour and look at all the different bases on the map so damn tired i like that big warehouse Because you can't get the, um, you can't get the fairgrounds as a base in this one, right? That's only in, uh, the breakdown, right? I believe you can live there. I see some. Looks like an infestation. Hey, Matt, thank you so much for the sew. I appreciate it. Like that big grocery store, guys. Look at this shit. Like this shit is lootable. Like you can come in this whole entire place. Like they don't have a, a grocery store like this in SOD2. And this is like the type of interior buildings I want to see come back in SOD3. You know, like look at this place. Get off of me, dude. I'm trying to show chat. You're being an asshole. Now, it's not as easy to cross the uh, cornfields and stuff up here because the fences are, like, you can't break through them. And you can get, like, locked behind the fence, like, stuck behind it. <laughs> and have to drive, like, all the way around. But this area might be a little more open. Sounds like the situation out there has changed. Check this out next. You're going to burn yourself out if you don't come home and rest a little. Hey, come here. We need to make. Guess I'll follow you. All right. So I they want to hunt down a feral. We haven't seen a feral at all today. Zombies up ahead. Go through or go around. Oh, 
Oh, wow. So the, the Hordes make in infestations in this game, Vinbo? Heads up. We got zombies coming in. Barrel's coming. There he is. Off him, dude. Yo, it doesn't take much for the people to go down in this game. It, it really doesn't take that much for people to go down in this. How's it going? Heads up! Coming in hot! Found this while I was out. Mm, what you got? Oh, you know. So we got enough materials. Uh, I'm wondering if I should build my medical facility because we're going to have to tear it down and rebuild it when we move. And we need a library anyway, so yeah, we can't do anything. So let's um, let's swap characters, and we're gonna go uh, see what the other bases We've got have to an offer. For a little trade. I definitely don't want to trade for fucking food. All right, we'll switch to Garbani. We'll have her go out. Um, top off our ammo. All right, Jacob, what's up, brother? Let's do this. Uh, should we? I'm on it. Cool. Let's head down towards Marshall. I think I know a place that might suit us. Or we can just drive around for a while and see what we see. Your call. The only resource we're hurting on right now is fuel. See, but I did not know that about the hordes, dude, in this game. Right, let's head down here. Not all the time. Gotcha. So what was that with you and Lily? Mm, there it is. A long story. Not much on the radio to fill the time. Good point. My mom died when I was 13. Lily was nine. Sorry. Yeah. Anyways, not long after that was when Lily was diagnosed. And our dad, he was, um, he's kind of a wreck. I had to pick up a lot of that slack. Jacob, I need you to be a man. Help take care of your sister. You know what I mean? It was a lot for a kid to live up to. I didn't handle it well. And as soon as I turned 18, I told my dad that I was moving to Danforth and I was going to college. What happened? Oh, man. Man, he blew up. We had a huge fight. Didn't talk for years after that. I finally got back in touch with him just a couple of months ago, actually. Yeah. This is my first visit home. Anyway, I don't think Lily's quite forgiven me yet. Well, good thing you left Danforth, dude. Learn to soar. Alexander Flight School, Trumbull County Airfield.
That was turned into a base in State of Decay 2, that rough ass looking factory over there. Yo, there's multiple ferals. What in the lethal zone is that? Juggernaut and two ferals? Well, what do you think? Check this place out. It's got a big yard, a privacy wall that we could fortify pretty easily. And check out that tree fort. We could turn that into a watchtower easy. You seem awfully excited about this place. Yeah, well, yeah, when I was a kid, my best friend Sally, she lived in this house, and I was so jealous. I always wanted to live here. Well then, let's take a look inside. Let's see what this base is all about. Jesus! Who's... I can't see. Help me. What the hell was that? I'm not sure. That... That didn't look like any disease I've ever seen. You? Nope. Maybe we gotta go, huh? There it is. Now, he had the black fever, I believe. Well, that's a few options, at least. There might be more out there if you look around. I'll think about it. Sure. Big decision, I get it. Just remember, tree fort. Yep, black fever. Now, I don't know how your people actually, if, if, how they can catch black fever. Better do one more sweep. Make sure everything's clear. Okay, so to move into the trucking warehouse, we need 50 materials and 12 people. What do I have? We got what it takes, guys. We can move in here. Hey, I don't want to panic you, but we may have a problem. Yeah? I've been talking to some of the other survivors. A bunch of them are talking about some new disease that's been hitting their people. I think we just saw it. Yeah? Well, better stock up on meds. Pastor Will's not looking so great. Damn. Let's set up camp here. Are you sure? That's a big here we go. Pack it up and move it out. Okay. I think I'm ready to head home now. Take care. Somebody with a present on their back. What the hell is that? So we got an opportunity to do some trading. I can carry the please tell me you're joking. No, that's a bad idea. Okay, so this big ass warehouse is now our base. Um, let me we get in here, see what we got. So we need beds. I know we're gonna need beds like immediately. Yeah, we have zero beds, so let's go ahead and get some beds squared away. Yeah, we'll get that fixed. Get that fixed. Storage room, we'll get that fixed. Okay. And then want to get a kitchen crafted up again. No, we're going to need a tower. No, 
know, get the watchtower building right there. Our library building right there. Infirmary. Yeah, we need more materials, but the cool thing is, literally, got a bunch of warehouses and shit we can hit right across the ray here. Unlock the spin kick with her. Oh no, I didn't. We'll drop that in the box, and then we're gonna go hit these warehouses right here. See if we can get some uh the materials to finish building. It's gonna take a little bit to settle into this base for sure. All things considered, I think we're doing pretty okay. Fucking screamers. Ain't so tough without all their little zombie buddies around, am I right? Said something about Pastor William being sick, so I want to try to get that infirmary up and going. It doesn't say he's sick, though. <laughs> that door being open like that, literally, guys, is going to annoy the shit out of me. Oh, it's Becca. I don't know what the library does exactly. Um, I think it has something to do with... Uh... Oh, let me activate my traps here. So we're going to actually have to move our outpost down here too. But I think um, it has to do with... Upgrades. Like crafting upgrades. But I'm not sure. Okay, so those traps are activated right now. We got two bags of materials here. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. We'll be ready. I'll run this home. We'll be ready. What did Becca do for a living? <laughs> she was a lady of the night, as one would say. We've run into 
a bit of a snag. We need a little extra to get this thing done. We can track it down, or find another way. But it'd be faster if you did a little scavenger hunt. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. Roger that. The juggernaut we'll right waiting. there. The crazy thing is, SOD 1 only has one difficulty, and their base, like the base difficulty in this game, is actually pretty difficult. I wonder how many people have played SOD 1 and just couldn't beat it just based off of how hard it was. I'm loaded up. See you back at base. Roger that. We'll be waiting. I just break this door down, but the juggernaut's probably gonna come over here, and I don't. I could probably kill it with the rifle that we have, but is it worth the risk when we could just go down? Oh, yeah, we got to go down this library, these areas anyway. So let's not let's not take the risk. I'm almost home. I hope you brought me something pretty. I'll show you when I get there. Now, bloaters, you want to you don't want to headshot them because they stay, they don't ever go away. Like, you have to actually pop them. So we got what we needed for the upgrade, but I don't think we're going to find materials in here. There's another warehouse next door we can check, though, too. Okay, so it was in here. I'm like, yo, it says there's materials, but when I uh, opened that first locker and I got that special piece for the, the base, it like dismissed the uh, the loot in the container. Yeah, this should have us in a good spot. This all these materials. Home. Roger that. We'll be waiting. I'm already loaded down here. There we go. Yeah, you can't get in the back doors in SOD one. That's right behind me. Found this while I was out. Sweet. Let's go empty our bags. So I'm trying to think. Obviously, we should make this into an or maybe the one across the channel. I gotta do a layout. Oh, 
So, for instance, there's this horde here. So, how do you check where the horde's going? This gun is so good. A red... Oh, well, now it's gone. Okay, so we already have an outpost here at the gun shop. Thinking that maybe we could do one here. And that will give us a pretty good protection from hordes coming across this bridge. Um... And then I could do one here, too. Because there's food in there. So we could do food, food. I know you have a lot to do, but time's running short on some of this. You may need to hurry. All right, so we'll get Tartan Mart. This is going to be in, uh, outpost number one. Confirmed. Where's Ed Free here? All right, so I'm going to have to... Well, this place actually supports a ton of outposts. Holy shit, eight outposts? Um, so we'll tear this one down and then I'll build this one up. Another time. Oh shit. Looks like we missed our shot. I'm lucky they didn't hear that. That's so dope. Like, if you get him close to a wall and you do that spin kick, it can just insta kill him. Okay, so we got food in here. Uh, it says there's still another container to search. But backpack. this place should I tell everyone to pack up yeah tell the gang we're building an outpost we've run into a bit of a snag we need a little extra to get this thing done we can track it down or find another way but it'd be faster if you did a little scavenger hunt <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought I was only gonna have four outposts so I was like sitting there trying to plan it out but now with eight man Okay, so we got ho good horde protection there. And then I think, yeah, we're going to do this. And that should give us a pretty good size safe zone. There might be a little, uh... Little chunk in the middle here that's not secure. Nathan, hey, with the membership, thank you so much. Hey, 
Hey, Lily. Just wanted an update on stuff at home. There's an issue with the infirmary. We're trying to get it set up, but we don't have everything we need. We can track it down, or find another way. But it'd be faster if you did a little scavenger hunt. Another thing State of K2 doesn't have. That's so crazy. Word around town is you're making quite a splash for yourself, my friend. You might not Ray know Santos. Me, but I think the two of us could do each other a lot of good. Why don't you come down to Marshall so we can have a little face-to-face -face chat? Yeah, Lily Lily does talk a lot in this game. Yo, a remake to this game would be sick. Okay, so we're just waiting on the cooldown because there's a cooldown before. I don't know exactly how long it is. We got a Dust Hound raid? Yo, I, I wish YouTube would like do a better job at notifying me of that stuff. There it is, brother. Hey, Dust Hound with the raid, man. Thank you so much, man. How you doing today, brother? That's why we got the Caspi. Unlike YouTube, Caspi never fails. So we just got to wait on the cooldown for this outpost. And while we're doing that, let's go over here and search for uh, heavy gloves for the watchtower. Vinbo, hey, I appreciate you for hanging out today, brother. Hey, come here. Back doors open. <laughs> Soli one, how you doing today? Right, let's see if we find these heavy gloves. It is. Oh, wait, that was something else. It was disinfectant for probably the infirmary. Max with the super chat. Thank you for the raid, Dust Town. Hey, seriously, Dust Town, I appreciate that, man. Heavy gloves. Look at that. We got both in one house. Hey, do you, do you think you could do me a favor while you're out there? I'm on it. It's, no. Never mind, it's stupid. Wait, what? I've been packing up my dad's stuff, and I found a watch box. It's from the birthday present I got him when I was 12. This stupid little plastic thing with a cartoon stick on it. I don't know why he kept it, but... Better deal with this first. Yo, there's so many hordes in this game. Yo, my gun is breaking. I, I thought guns couldn't break in SOD1. Oh. 
Guess wrong. Okay, what's up? I don't know why he kept it, but it kind of made me realize I don't have anything to remember him by. So, I was going to ask if you'd go up to where he died and bring me something of his. No, forget it. It's stupid. It's way too risky. I I'm sorry I brought it up. We gotta be careful because I don't want this gun to break. Looks like the moment's passed. Yeah, it is a bolt action, but I think in this one the guns were a little different. I think we could hold this place. Really? Are you sure? Let's make this outpost happen. Go, oh, boom. Okay, so let's see what our spread looks like. Yeah, looks pretty good. And we got a little bit of a gap here, but Horde's still got to pass through here to get to us, so we got all the avenues covered on where Hordes can approach from. I think we'll maybe get another one down here and maybe even another one over here. And then I'll get some on this side of the bridge in Marshall. So our only weak side would, is really going to be here. If we get like multiple hordes piling up. Get this put away. Alright, so we got guns. I'm not I'm not super worried about it. It's just ammo is the question. Five five six. Got we actually got a decent bit of five five six, so let's grab that. It's 108 influence. We, we got it. We can afford it. This is uh, one of the Cleo guns. Sixty rounds of ammo. We're in good shape. Okay, so we got those two, and like I said, oh man, we got a couple infestations around us. A lot of infestations down here. Yeah, the kick is nice. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of that kick, for real. Okay. Watch uh -huh. tower is done, and then... Oh, Ed's freaking scared or whatever. Morale issues. Aha. Uh -huh. Yo, yo, yo. Come on. You and me are gonna go out there and kick some ass. You'll feel better. I'm on it. Oh, I forgot. So how does this work? Which Low slice, a special attack that dismembers the target's legs. Which we already have the kick, so I don't really care about that. But this is the insta-kill. I forgot how to do this. But if we time it right, boom, insta-kill. And this is Leapfog, a special counter that lets you jump over an enemy and knock it to its knees. Insta counter, a special technique that allows you to instantly counter incoming attacks. So is that if I hit the dodge and it goes slow-mo, will my person just automatically counter?
Is a charging attack? Oh. That'd be hard to pull off. The instant counter, though. Um, let me see. So I'll show you, let me see if you let me know if I'm correct about this. This is the counter attack, right? Um, what, what are we doing out here exactly? When well, your person does that. So if I have instant counter, my person will just what attack automatically. I should take Ed up here to craft this damn infestation while we're up here. Oh, my man Jeremy last night. Yeah, it was a good time. All right, let's go, Ed. So screw it. We'll, tr we'll, tr we'll try out the um, instant counter. Um, while Holmes still holds shift in C to automatically counter all incoming attacks. Hold shift and press left mouse button to launch a slow focus attack that guarantees to decapitate. And then low slice a special attack that dismembers the target's legs. I don't know, kind of. We'll check out the low slice. Oh, it uses stamina. I see. So you just sit there and hold this, and your person will just dodge no matter what. Could be trouble on the left. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, wrong button. Trying to do the low slice. Oh shit! Break it, fucking skull. So is that a guaranteed to cap or a uh, leg chop off? Sword is breaking. KB, how you doing, brother? Sam, what the fuck are you doing here? Gonna kill some zombies the old fashioned. Keep your eye on our right. We got zombies in there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Red's up ahead. I didn't see any screamers, though. Got the infestation cleared, though. Aren't as bad as they seem. Thank you. We'll follow you. Let's move. All right, it's feeling better. Zed's up ahead. Could bring him to clear out that other infestation right across the water or across the bridge. Feeling better? Might be. Yeah. Look, you're not alone. Everybody's scared. Just don't do anything stupid, okay? Yeah. Okay, sure. Uh, blue shit everywhere, guys. Better get ready. We'll be on them soon if we keep going this way. Zombies are pretty helpless, man, when you chop their freaking legs off. To infestations done right there. Look, uh, I'll think about what you said, okay? I'm glad. That's why she was over there. Okay, so she wants to go blow out some more infestations, which is cool because I actually still got some resources left, so. I'll check this out next. I hear ya. So if you leave if you chop the zombies' legs off and you just leave them there, they'll eventually just die. Did not know that. Are you here to help? We could use a hand. Ready to move. Let's move. Maya is sad now. Jeez, man. We're having some real morale issues around the base right now, and I thought we, I thought we were doing good. I thought life was good. Grab the jalopy here.
How many of you guys want a station wagon like this in SOD 2 or 3? Let's do this. Now this is just ridiculous! Keep an eye on our six. <laughs> So, the Molotovs, I wonder, do you have to, like, direct hit the zombies with it? Because it seems like the splash damage doesn't do anything. That wasn't the last of them. I got nothing left. <laughs> Finish it off! It's pretty clear to me. Guess I've taken up enough of your time already. Let's get out of here. Take it easy. Wait a Sam. See, I think, um... I think you have to hit the zombies directly or it doesn't count. Where in SOD2, uh, the fire spreads really, really good. It doesn't seem like it spreads the same in this game. I'm on the move. You can't do everything yourself. Come home and rest. Somebody else can pick up the slack. Hey, it's okay. I'm a patient man and you're busy. But I really would like to talk to you. That was almost it right there. Guys, thank you for almost 500 likes on the stream. I do appreciate it. Investor, thank you for the sub. All right, Becca, what you got? What you got? Heard on the grapevine, you might need a hand. No sweat. I'll help run interference while your people work. Guess that's true, I owe you. I'll meet you out front. We need to build some watchtowers, like they have down at the courthouse. It's a fairly... Hey, Bex. What is it, Quentin? Nothing really, just, uh, you know, checking in. Dude, what the hell? I saw you like 10 minutes ago. Also, kind of busy here. Right, right, sorry. Stupid. Okay, I'm getting started. Oh, yeah, he, he's digging her. Again. What is she doing? That one got him. Anyways, like I was saying, the watchtowers were my idea, but Quentin designed them. He's pretty clever when it comes to building stuff. With girls, not so much. Trouble in paradise? God, don't get me started. So the other night we had a pretty close call, right? I mean, zombies were inside. We were all freaked. So we raided the liquor department afterwards, just to take the edge off, you know? What happened? So, yeah. We both drank more than we probably should, and there's this couch in the manager's office, and... Yeah. yeah. But now he's doing this whole lost puppy thing, following me around and acting like we're married or whatever. 
I mean, you gave him a slice of the apple pie. He wants more. Okay, got some more materials headed your way. They're loaded down pretty good, though. An escort would be helpful. That won't work. That won't work. <laughs> Shit. this clinging vine thing, I think I might throttle him. So, uh, how's it coming out there? See what I mean? Keep your eye on our right. We got zombies incoming. One did not want to get drop kick executed, guys. gonna do you should give us some protection anyways we would have lost a lot of people without you that counts for something in my book anyway thanks for the oh what the fuck hold it right there hands where we can see him whoa easy there alex it's me sheriff carl but we don't want any trouble we're just here to talk yeah you wasted a trip turn around walk away and forget you ever saw this place huh wait Who's Alex? Forget it. We're not interested in signing up with your little society. Ease up, Becca. Not everybody's out to kill us and take our stuff. It doesn't take everybody. Just one. All right. We'll go. We're not here to pressure anybody. You folks stay safe now. Hope you're keeping your nose clean, Alex. Damn. Exposed. <laughs> She's uh, she got exposed, guys. All right, we're gonna steal this SUV here. And uh, again, thank you guys for almost 500 likes. I don't uh, I don't remember where my car. Oh, my car is right there. I think I drove the station wagon over here, right? Or that yellow one, one of the two. But I wanted this SUV anyways. It was a good fight, though. We got a feral bunch of zombies that showed up. I've got some ideas for how to improve this place. We need some more sleeping space. People are already sharing beds and shifts. Now I've drawn up some basic plans, but we'll want to get on this in a hurry. Yeah, I got to People are already talking about leaving. I fixed up the bed areas, but I didn't uh, pay attention to how many... We're still short. Probably gonna have to build another bunk. So you're saying they just die? Oh shit, look at that.
Yeah, so we're gonna have to build at least one more bunk. So we gotta build that and then also upgrade. Okay, so this is the library now. Let me see. Research ammo manufacturer. This will allow us to break down the ammo we scavenge and manufacture the calibers we actually need. Requires a munition shop. This is research greenhouse gardening. This will improve yields from our gardens. Requires a garden. This is re research biodiesel. Would let us convert food into fuel. Requires a food storage facility. So that's really good um, because I have an absurd amount of food. Hmm. What is a food storage facility? So what is the Cleo beacon is up. Watch for a big crowd of zombies. Does um does this count? The warehouse storage? I mean, it says I can do it, so that must mean I meet I meet the the requirements. But yeah, we can. Uh, it costs ten food, and we'll get fuel out of it. Hey, Morton, with the super chat, thank you so much. Is there a difference between the story and the Yo story? No, I believe they're the same exact story, uh, Morton. But I never played the original SOD one, so I couldn't tell you. So this is research box mines, chemical incendiaries, um, oh, and homemade stems. Requires a medical lab for that. Well, we'll research biodiesel. Help us with our excess of food. We'll upgrade this to infirmary so we can make sure that people aren't getting sick. Got these building, then we're going to upgrade those also. Oh, so the Snyder Machine Shop already counts as what? A, a max level workshop? Yeah, look at that. Our cars will be getting repaired and everything. If we had a mechanic, we'd be out of. Everybody out there's got a set of wheels and the inclination to play Good Samaritan. Swing on by the farm. Ain't nothing too dangerous. See right here, on the fiery pickup, I can repair the body with materials. See, man, I wish they had this in State of Decay 2 where you could, like, if you have, like, a workshop or something like that built, or not a workshop, a, um, like, an auto shop, you can just, like, repair your car like that. You know what I mean? Like, with, like, materials or something. That would be really cool. Morton, thank you so much for the membership. I really appreciate that. Well, welcome to the family. Still need ammo workshop for ammo crap. Oh, so this one doesn't count. So if I wanted to do uh, bullets, oh, excuse me, guys. If I wanted to do bullets, I would have to craft another workshop and turn it into a um, munition shop, right? It's not bad, because I really don't know what else I would even build. Other, I mean, the f training area seems pretty good. Um, kitchen. I don't need a garden.
The kitchen is clutch because of coffee. So yeah, we will get the kitchen done, and then I don't know if we'll do a second workshop or if I'll just hold off on that. Because crafting bullets really doesn't seem super necessary, especially because I don't need to focus on We've got an opportunity for specific a uh, calibers. We got a decent amount of bullets as is, as you guys can see. I feel like we haven't played with Maya in a while. So I don't mind this rifle. The problem is it just doesn't hold a lot of ammo. I like the high ammo capacity. That's like my thing in all like State of Decay games. There we go. Only holds five shots in that other gun and doesn't really do much for us. So yeah, we gotta get these two other outposts moved down and we got another Cleo drop here. Move down into this region. So, yeah. But, all right, guys. We are going to end today's episode here. Um, I might have enough time. We got to see what's going on with the wife and dinner. Um, I heard her talking about that. Was she, is she streaming? Mm -mm. Hold on, give me a sec, guys. Yeah, she is so we're going to raid over to her stream. Um, she's making some din. If, hey, when we get over there, guys, make sure you guys spam the chat. Let her know that uh, that we raid in over there. Okay, uh, so we're going to stream. We're going we're gonna to go over to the wife's stream. Um, but yeah, I'm going to see what's going on, eat dinner. And then if I got enough time, guys, I might do another stream. Uh, but if not, I'm definitely going to be streaming on Twitch when we get back tonight. Because I won't have enough time to do a YouTube stream. I like to keep my YouTube streams at least, you know, three to four hours. Uh, I'll probably only have like a couple hours. I don't know. We'll see. But when I get back, I'll uh, definitely probably be over on Twitch, maybe streaming some uh, Zomboid and some World of Warcraft. But uh, yeah, if you guys want to show some love and support, a raid over with with the fam. Uh, we're going to go over, raid my wife's stream. She's on YouTube. Now, wh what happens is uh, one of the mods could post the, her channel link uh, in the description, but it should just, as soon as my stream ends, it should automatically transfer you over. Uh, but if not, hey, I appreciate you guys for hanging out, and I uh, hope I'll see you guys in the next one. But yeah, give me one sec, guys. Get this set up. All right, so on your way out, hey, if you haven't smashed that like button, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And guys, thank you for everything. Uh, like I said, if you want to see more of this, make sure you guys smash the like button. It's the, uh, I'll, I'll keep playing it as long as you guys are watching it. You know what I mean? And uh, if this video gets, you know, as not it doesn't have to get as much, but if it gets a lot of love like the last one did, then uh, yeah, for sure we'll we're gonna go over and uh, we'll keep playing and potentially even jumping to do some lifeline. But all right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.